what do you think to your chances at this point? <laughs> Retire? <laughs> Admit defeat? <laughs> Hi, we're Mike and Steph, a couple from the UK who earlier in 2021 quit our jobs, bought a camera and booked a one-way ticket to go travelling. So far we've had an incredible time in Mexico and Guatemala and now we're in the US as we embark on a road trip to as many national parks as possible. First up, Yosemite. Hey, good morning. Day two in Yosemite. Ooh. Steph holding the tripod, always <laughs> interesting. All right, let me hold it two hands. Um, <laughs> day two in Yosemite. We are doing the four mile trail to Glacier Point, which I thought was a round trip of four miles, but it's not, it's four miles one way. Usually we would get the shuttle back from Glacier Point back to Yosemite Valley to our campsite. Shuttles aren't running because of COVID, which means double the walking for us. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Definitely don't have enough water, but anyway, it is a beautiful already. Wow. Okay, so what you now have is a POV from Mike's <laughs> shoulder that you can hike along with us. Probably looks up very professional, I imagine. That trail, let's see. Can you see the trail? <laughs> you can crookedly see the trail. No, other way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> is it good? Is it a good shot? Cinematography 101. So, um, the kind of smoky haze from the fires. A little bit better today, and we've just got our first clear view of Half Dome. We are in the middle of about having done 40 switchbacks. <laughs> yeah, quite a tiring hike, but not, not the worst in the world. We're taking no, it pretty yeah. easy. The views are constantly- Just so impressive. beautiful. Mile three in a bit. So that was four and a half miles, according to my watch. We did it in just under three hours. What did surprise us when we got up here is that uh, there's a full-on museum, there's water, there's toilets. It's very well equipped. And look at the amazing view of Half Dome. It's just incredible, resplendent in the distance. We're gonna go finish, properly finish the hike now at Glacier Point, um, which supposedly has amazing views of the valley. So we're gonna go there and have some lunch. Sandwiches. We've been waiting for this for the last few hours. Well, I think we deserve this after a long day of hiking. We've come all the way back down and we've just dunked our feet in this cold river and it's beautiful. And we're just going to relax here for the time being. Oh, it 
it's early, but we've come here to Yosemite Valley View for this ridiculous sunrise. As we think we're about to see, it's so clear. The stars are out last night, which means the smoke has gone. We're parked here. There's not a single other car, which is awesome. So our feet definitely hurt today yeah. after a long walk yesterday, much so, more than we so. thought it would. So uh, we're taking it more easy today. We've obviously had sunrise already and now we are going to check out a very short drive away. This, the famous El Capitan. Look how massive it is. It's actually just too big. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, yeah. I think it's too big to put in this film. <laughs> This is where we now have to watch Free Solo again, just to really, now we can really appreciate how ridiculous it is climbing that. It's crazy to think that someone has climbed that without any ropes. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's a weird thing to do. <laughs> it's like a bazooka. <laughs> so we've parked up here in El Capitan Meadow, because it's a meadow in front of El Capitan. There's another big rock, very impressive. Let's see if we can get some nice pictures. It's so bloody big. We have to go quite far back over there, probably. Let's keep going. So we've walked back almost to the back of the meadow and we still can't get a shot that fits the entire El Capitan Inn, which just shows how ridiculously big it is. I mean, like, fair play to Alex Honold or whatever his name is. But you can look at it sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can all tilt your head to the right, and if you're watching the video, there's the whole thing. Thank you very much. Right, back in the car, let's go to our next place. Yeah. Ooh, flowers. So we thought we'd walk up to the edge of um, El Capitan and I'm going to put some shorts on. And well, I was going to put some shorts on because it's got really hot really fast. Talk about style. <laughs> but yeah, all my shorts are in the tent. Um, so we're walking past, there's loads of deer here, amazing antlers. Summit begins yeah. now. Let's go. I could go further, but I, I don't know how to get down again. <laughs> Three meters. That's pretty good. Yeah. New PB. PB. Well done. Hold your breath. <laughs> Did very well. Did you? I can't hold my breath. For long. <laughs> We couldn't get any footage, but we just saw a bear. We saw a black bear. We're going to see if we can find it. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it when we got out of the car, but amazing that we saw one. Sorry that you couldn't. So rather impromptu, we are just getting ready in the back of the car. We thought going to visit Mariposa Grove and the big sequoias was a short little walk, but it turns out it's actually a few more miles and elevation than we thought. So it's a bit bigger than we're hoping for today to rest our legs. So we're not really prepared. We, we've just bought a new bottle to make sure we have enough water, or at least close to the amount of water we need for the trail. We're gonna go and hopefully see some giant sequoias. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of not doing research because we've decided to go off grid. <laughs> We find out to see like the pro proper Mariposa Grove, it's like a six, seven hour hike. To see just one sequoia tree, it's like a three hour hike. I mean, I stood there in my cool trousers, <laughs> having brought absolutely no hiking gear. Didn't bring extra water, didn't bring my backpack. We're now hiking. <laughs> so we started the hike to the grizzly giant sequoia. We're hoping it's not too bad. We're very unprepared. Let's go. Look at this big chunky boy. He's a big boy. <laughs>
got crazy branches. I've never seen a tree with such like. The branches are like their own trees. Knobbly. Like, look at that one. It's like a slug. <laughs> <laughs> look at that big fat branch. It goes, it's like wibbly wobbly. <laughs> that was lovely. Really enjoyed seeing the trees. That whole trail is easy. I don't know what we were scared of. <laughs> Didn't even drink all the water. We're gonna go now. Bye. As you can see, we're having some pasta. I came back from Mariposa, rushed back to get these bad boys, very important. So here you get a coin for the shower, but you only get one a day and you have to go and pick it up. Yesterday, we missed the ranger. They'd gone home for the day, so we couldn't have a shower, which is devastating and we are very dirty and smelly. <laughs> <laughs> so we rushed back to get these so we're gonna have a shower but first cooked ourselves some pasta and I'm just enjoying the campsite because it's our last evening here tomorrow morning we're gonna pack up really early and go and do the mist trail um, up to some waterfalls and then we from there we're gonna drive straight on to our next destination That ranger just came over and told us that there's been a bear sighting nearby in that direction. There is a risk we might see a bear, which we see as a good thing, but maybe it isn't a good thing. <laughs> so we're going to put some of our food stuff away, and then we're going to finish off our chess game. <laughs> what do you think to your chances at this point? <laughs> Retire? <laughs> Admit <laughs> defeat? <laughs> Day four, final day, we're going for our final trek, which is the Mist Trail. We're hoping to see some beautiful waterfalls. Yeah. Packed so much food for the this time, so that I don't get hungry. <laughs> Vernal Falls, check. Amazing. <laughs> On to Nevada Falls. <laughs> this is definitely a beautiful trail. You can see up there, that's where Glacier Point is, where we were the other day. Yeah. Insert clip here of reverse view. <laughs> Hello. Hello to us two days ago. later we're almost there to the top of Nevada Falls. So 
we made it to the top of Nevada Falls and just peeking out of the top there, you can see Half Dome as per my hat. Mm. Can I just zoom in? <laughs> it's so small. We tried to book permits to go to Half Dome, which would be another 4.5 miles, so almost more than double what we've just walked, walking that incredibly steep path all the way up. Yeah. Uh, so we're a bit relieved that we haven't got the permit. We're just yeah. gonna chill here, I'll grab some lunch, and then head back. Give us the stats then. So, um, from basically where the parking is, it's four miles up to the top exactly. And we did it in about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. To loads of re to loads of stops <laughs> yeah. and rest, taking photos and stuff as well. We didn't. It wasn't that hard. No, not that hard at all. But it said the whole round loop is five point nine miles. So, that's but not that's true. not true. <laughs> that's Especially not true. because also you're walking from the car park, which is actually ages away from the trailhead. In summary, not too hard. No. Loads of chances to rest. Beautiful walk. Probably the most beautiful trek we've done so far. Yeah. Um, yeah, recommend a mist trail. Gorgeous. For those of you interested, because this is the kind of content that I love. <laughs> it's a food haul. <laughs> food haul. <laughs> Tell you what we packed for our hiking. Well, number one was a breakfast sandwich that's already been eaten. <laughs> there it is, lunch sandwich. Sourdough with cheese and salami. Some leftover crisps, an apple, and uh, two cliff bars. Because <laughs> we love cliff bars. There you go. Yeah. Was that good content? I hope so. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, I had some carrots. <laughs> I got some little mini carrots. <laughs> so we have a little picnic now taking in this beautiful view and then hide back down. See you in a second of the car. Okay, we are officially leaving Yosemite National Park. We're now in the kind of north section on the, what's it called, Tioga Pass? Mm -hmm. On Tioga Pass. Um, we've just gone past Tanaya Lake, which is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We've dipped our feet in, which is needed after those long hikes. It's really cold, <laughs> but um, absolutely glorious here. So now we're just leaving the park. That means we've basically gone south to Mariposa Grove. We camped in Yosemite Valley. We're now going through the north. We've actually covered all of the park, um, which is pretty cool in just a few days. So we absolutely loved our time. Now we're heading off to our next destination. Okay, really quick overall thoughts of Yosemite. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> um, surpassed our expectations. Really great that we got to camp for. I think that made all the difference being able to camp in Yosemite Village. Yeah, being able to camp there and also with an incredible view of all the surrounding rocks and beautiful peaks and stuff. We had a really good campsite and specific place within that campsite. Number two, all the hikes we did have been absolutely glorious. I mean, just really beautiful, quite difficult at times but generally not too bad hikes and it's a good way for us to get into the, the hiking spirit at the beginning of our yep. national park journey and number three we were worried that the forest fire situation and some of the smokiness was going to be a hindrance it kind of passed after the first day there's a little bit of it today really it doesn't really affect the time here Everyone, everyone's acts responsibly um, yep. just a really amazing time and yeah yosemite will be hard to beat but what a start to our national park adventure Yay! in the next installment of our road trip there's going to be a lot of lakes so stay tuned for that <laughs> <laughs> see you in the next one bye